not work out for oh Kyle Bush turns Chase Elliott hard into the wall and almost back up into traffic oh Cliff Boyer getting pushed almost collects him man goes to the outside follows Denny Hamlin by the 18 and Kyle Bush just moves up and misjudges it completely gets into the left rear spins Chase Elliott around sends him into the inside wall I mean, this is right in the middle of the straightaway. It's not a case of the car sliding up the racetrack. It got turned there. I mean, the only thing you, I can think of is you're looking in your mirror to see if you can get your, you're looking at Kevin Harvick, some of these other guys, how they're closing in. You're listening to your spotter, but I mean, that that's that's more than just a misjudge by an inch. I mean, that was Amano. not even close. Yeah, it's critical for Brad to get this lead. He's only got two tires versus four behind him. Oh, oh the 12 gets loose up the racetrack. And the 22 almost into him. He has to check up. They all check up behind him. And the, and the four almost got into 22. Now the three wide. And oh, around goes the 18. He catches the 19. Mark Trix Jr. into the wall. Get going. They're wrecking behind it. Pick it up Auto a little contact. bit. contact. Cole Custer involved. From Byron's the highest of high there. to now the low. Cole Custer wins at Kentucky and now wrecks out at Texas. Chris Buescher was having a really good day. It's just a bobble right there and he has to get out of the gas. And Joey all the way out of the gas. Harvick out of the gas. So watch the 10 down there on the bottom. The one and the 10 turn. Yeah. Yep. That's it. there. Nothing intentional. It's just they're all three, they're all three wide and when your cars are that close to each other, the air moves your car around a little bit. You're not in complete control. Yeah, we haven't got a good look at that 18 car, but I'm surprised that the front split are still on that thing after that trip through the grass. Byron spinning out of control here. Oh, Busher, did he make, yeah, he made contact. He's been fast. Yeah. Had the trouble with the fuel. You see the 42 going through the, the picture there with a lot of damage, a lot of smoke from Matt Kenseth's car. See right there, Joey with a great job, and just everybody behind him. There's nothing you can do at this point, and everybody has to go somewhere, run into each other, and then look how close everybody is and just not enough room. Watch that 18 car. Man, yeah, that's true. X got in yeah. the fence hard there. Yeah, he did. They got hit hard. Yeah, that's a bad angle. He is pulled away, oh. and now trouble. There we go. We said it, guys. Perched, hammering oh. hard into the inside wall. Caution is out. And since the leader did not get back to the white flag, we will re-rack him and have double overtime. Whoa. A bit of a block there on. Was that AJ Allmendinger that yep, hurt the tip to the block? Yeah. Oh man, how and close was that for AJ? Just barely missed Daniel Hemrick. It's a big impact on the inside wall. That you're gonna get a big run. Sharks oh. on the high side. Caution oh. is out, and you see why. Ooh. It's a big one. Rafael Lassard is involved in that, and there's playoff driver Tyler Ankrum. Man, that's a tough break. Hard hit. Uh, it's got the fuel line knocked off. That's where that fuel's fire is coming from. See the 45 of Trevor Bain lost a little momentum there. I don't know where this all started, but you can see to the bottom goes Crafton. Oh, Moffitt gets clipped, and they all wreck behind him. Anytime you lose momentum, Kurt, you can't really see what's going on ahead. It's going to cause issues. And that is that 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 whole convection of trucks. That was Bain and, and Crafton on the outside and then Lassard on the inside. When you're the inside truck that close to somebody, it's going to snap around most likely on you. And that's where Lassard had trouble. Oh, well, it, it slides it, high. It, He's it, out of yep. the groove. And Hill and the, takes advantage. Oh. And there's Eckes. The caution is out. Hard into the wall is the 18 of Eckes. There you see, up out of the groove was Creed opening the door for Austin Hill. And behind it, it looked like maybe Ben Rhodes. My, my gut tells me that that beep button is going to get played again. What do you think? There it is. Oh. All right, explain wow. that one, Jamie. Break that down. Well, there's not much to break down. That uh, that looked like there must have been something earlier happened, and and that was a retaliation for it. I, there's really no reason for anyone to to do what Ben Rhodes has done to to Christian Eckes there. To, to right rear someone on the on a straightaway is is really not acceptable.
Whoa. They were going to be pretty tight to be able to make it here on fuel. Oh. And there's trouble. Oh. oh. Gregson around oh. into Allgaier. Cindric what a hit it. for Hemrick and Cindric as well. Dang. That's Myatt Snyder on the outside of the nine there. We're going to see another replay of that from another angle. What a move by the one of Michael Annette to get through all that. He was right in the middle of where it all you, uh, was happening. You could see that Myatt Snyder was on Noah Gregson, but but what you couldn't tell was was the 22 pushing Myatt Snyder. Like it because it looked like they made contact and then they were good and then they hooked again. There was there was two contacts that happened off the corner. The first one, I believe Noah looked or felt like he was going to be clear coming off the corner there. And when he wiggled just a little bit, they had the contact. Then you put somebody like Kyle Bush in there. Brandon Jones in the outside lane no, moving to the front. And he pops the wall. Gregson around. Oh my goodness, what a hit for Tommy Joe Martin. Total carnage. Saw Noah Gregson get loose underneath those cars. The rest was history. Man, I don't know. You think that that's a lot of damage on there. You see these two cars right here. Man, that was a shot right there. I think it knocked his hands off the wheel he hit so hard right there. To the car. Big push coming from the 10 car. Oh! The There's contact the wrecking. And the 16 goes around. AJ Allmendinger, he hits the inside wall. They wreck behind them. We saw a little bit of everything here. Yeah, we really did. Uh, AJ Allmendinger had been so strong. But you see him right there. You see him get turned. Harrison Burton gets turned. It's just calamity and uh, pretty, pretty significant licks. But I tell you, at this moment and at this point, everything changed points wise for even the guys in the garage. Yeah, the seven car of Justin Algarry, we see right here. Uh, that, that the 16 of, of AJ gets turned. He gets turned into to Harrison Burton. But it, it, AJ or Justin Algar is sitting in the garage, nine points to the good. And after this accident, he ends the day 15 points to the good. Yeah. The, he was a huge beneficiary. But as we see this, um, you know, this is a typical Talladega crash. You see the 16 get turned. He gets into Harrison Burton. Harrison Burton goes back up at the racetrack. And, and Myatt Snyder, who had a great day today. Keslowski trying Hamlin for four. Oh, oh Stas, wow. heavy damage. Big wreck. Tyler Reddick, Cole Custer. Oh, Ricky Stenhouse. Bowman. He is having a hero or zero kind of week. Comes off a of turn two. And he just makes contact with that left rear of the 47. I don't know if Stenhouse had to check up a little bit when he caught the 42 of Kenseth there, but just looked to me like maybe Jimmy misjudged getting into the in behind the 47 of Stenhouse. I think Kurt Busch may also have some damage from that one. Bush, this is Joey Logano right behind him. Trouble. Here's the big one. Man. Well, there goes half the field. Sure does. You can see Joey Logano really aggressive to the rear bumper of the 10. He's going to push him all the way up to the 2. And they just, right before the 10 gets there, there's a little bit of movement. And that little bit of movement, when you make that much contact, turns your car right around. That's exactly what happened to Brad Keselowski and the 10 of uh, Amarola. Sort of swaying back and forth right before he made contact with the two. Hooks his bumper, turns him around. Oh, he slammed Alex Bowman. And then it's on. And for the second time in less than a handful of years, Eric Almarola ends up being knocked out. Especially when you're a rookie. Oh, there it Whoa. goes! In the middle. Oh! oh. No. Austin oh, weighed no. himself and upside down is the 45 of Majeski. In back of the. That's Fogelman in the 0 2, oh, wasn't two, it? 2, yeah, and then. Man, he just. Majeski just turned sideways down the front and it just tipped right over. NASCAR does so much work in the wind tunnel to have. Uh, flaps, air flaps, different panels on the truck that blow away that is supposed to prevent that, but probably just one of those circumstances that put him in a real, real in real jeopardy. Oh boy. Oh. 
Oh, such wow. a nasty, nasty angle into turn three. One of the fastest parts of the racetrack for these guys. And, you know, it's just, there's no practice. It's a green racetrack. It's incredibly abrasive. We've seen this track just destroy tires throughout a tire test. These tires, even this far into the race, are still not able to go through an entire run. The 14 up. The nine out of shape. Here comes the 22. Logano's going to take the lead away from Denny Hamlin. Two laps to go. Bubba, Bubba Wallace. Wallace on the outside. Big run. Contact, Contact made again. Bubba Wallace sideways. Can he save it? William the Byron. They're ready. Right the now the 22 coming. goes around. Right. Hold the break. Hold the break. Oh, the going to come out now. Big, break, big wreck behind him. Bubba Wallace got through Tyler Reddick hard hit. Jimmy Johnson. Johnson caught up in the 48. Yeah, big damage on Jimmy's car. Watch William Byron. So there's big contact right there with Bubba Wallace. Then Bubba, William Byron through the middle. Even more contact with William Byron. I think that's where maybe the 22 car lost the left, the right rear tire. Either that or just got turned around. Yeah, once once Joey, once Joey gets up the racetrack, watch right here. There's contact all the way off turn four, coming through the trial. Well, Joey makes a big move. Feeling like he's in really good shape right here. Bubba Wallace to the outside. The 11 is in the back of Joey Logano. That gets him into the Bubba Wallace. William Byron makes it four wide. Now that's when they make the contact. Cut the right rear tire. Matt, Matty D could not get slowed down. And that's how quickly things happen at Daytona. You know, we saw a restart and the craziness, but the control of this race changed on that green flag. Oh, oh, oh hard oh. into the wall. Denny Hamlin from the lead slams into the wall. There. Again, we see a right side, right front failure, and Hamlin hard into the wall. Down here, Ken. Catch your breath. Talk. Off into turn one, and the right front goes. Hmm. Some big impact impacts today. That's such a big hit. It's so. Surprising to me too because we, we've just been talking about it for the last several laps about the clean air that he's enjoyed and One I've, thing you wonder junior is you know with the cooler temperatures, right? It's gotten more speed. Yeah, it's just gotten It's probably faster than it was clean air Just carrying so much speed. You just wonder if that you know that this, extra extra pressure on the tires Boy, that was just textbook by Denny Hamlin. Can he put the block on oil car? Oh, 77. That was Ross Chastain got down on the apron, turned him sideways up the racetrack. Watch uh, 77 right here. Well, and you can, I knew those cars were going to stall out. You can see right there, Ryan Priest sort of pushes Chastain down onto the apron. As soon as he gets down the apron, he loses control. Good for him. Stuck with his plan, right? Everybody was questioning. Oh, big oh, crash. Big Caution crash. is out. Seven. And Austin Sendrick, for the first time in 2020, is a winner. He gets it done at Kentucky. See him loose oh. under him. His car on the outside got loose underneath of him. Going for him. You're trying to make up time. You're out of time. Jeez, Last what lap. A that is a shot right there. That car completely off the ground. And that's, you know, Mario Goslin uh, equipment, a team that doesn't have the resources and got to race again tomorrow night. Lap 108, you're clear. 108 at the line here. Oh, we got a crash. 48 goes around. The big one happening. The one's upside down. Kurt Busch climbed all over the top of the 41 of Custer. The two is around. Playoff contenders involved. 14 car has the 48 car out of control through the tribal and gets into the left rear quarter panel and turns the 48. Yeah, right there, the 14 is pushing the 48. Gets him to turn around. Now, push play up in the air. Fortunately, came down on his tires. There it starts, right there. That tribal, we talked about it earlier, that is the worst place. That's where your car has the least amount of grip around this racetrack. Now they're four wide going into one. That's it. Oh, and around goes oh. a seven. Hard into the outside on, wall. Buddy, hang on, the hang seven. on, hang on, hang on. On the apron, the 21 of Anthony Alfredo was into the wall hard. He's upside down, sliding through one and two. 
That's kind of where the whole thing starts. And normally you think you're going to get down here, you're going to slide up on, into the racetrack, but he just never had a chance to. Algar just kind of, I think, needed to give that spot up and get out of the throttle. But knowing there's a race win, if you can make it work, maybe ahead of you just chose to stay in the gas. And look at this car. It gets up on its side. It's sliding. You know, these cars have roof flaps that design them to stay on the ground when you see a high speed roll over, say, a restrictor plate track. But here, that, that wasn't really an aerodynamic thing. The cars aren't going at top speed on this restart. That's just the force of this car hitting that outside wall, throws it up into the air, and then, Jeff, as we saw, it slides to a stop on its roof. Yeah, and there was another car involved in this, too, that got him up and upside down when he did hit the wall. Take another look. Here's the 18 of Riley. Herbst, he gets into him. Both of those young drivers are having good nights tonight. And when you see a car gets upside down, Jeff, it, you know, it takes me back to the technology we don't talk about so much. You know, from a five-point to a six-point to a seven-point seatbelt harness, more, all of those points that are added are down around your hips and legs. But Chase is going to be able to push that Atlanta car back out front. More wrecking. And around goes the 95. Oh, and the 37. Oh, the oh, my goodness. Oh, awful. Oh, Christopher Bell trying to get up in front of him. Then they make contact. Oh. Poor Ryan Priest. Mm. We talked about he's had a string of last place finishes and wow. Such a Junior and I in this booth when he was heading to that wall, we were both cringing. It's good to see him get out of that car. Look at this angle of impact. So violent. 3,400 pounds of race car just thrown up into the air after it bounced off that inside wall. Ryan Newman off turn four for the final time. Blaney to the outside, oh. to the inside. Here comes Hamlin up the outside. Wow. Crash into the wall, into the air goes oh. Newman. Upside down. In a shower of sparks on his roof, Ryan Newman comes across the line fourth and comes to rest. Newman gets a pretty good run to the turn four, but now here comes a huge run by Ryan Blaney being pushed by Denny Hamlin. He goes, tries to go to the outside, then the inside, they lock, lock bumpers and turns Ryan Newman around. Upside down he goes. Corey LaJoy coming along, making contact. Blaney tried the top side, tried to get low. Ryan Newman goes around. And the car goes to its roof, and here's the on-rushing Corey LaJoy picking it up and over. 